Hello from the Transportation and Ticket Center. Today, Candyland is determining my day at Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom. How exactly is this going to work? I don't know, but I'm presuming that I'm just going to play the game. And I'm taking the monorail to make it over to Magic Kingdom. It's about seven o'clock right now and the park closes at 11 o'clock. So I brought some markers and some stickers and I'm going to be relabeling some of these cards and that is how I'm going to determine my day, hopefully my evening at Magic Kingdom. This is either going to work out really well or really not well. Sometimes when I do these challenges, I'm a little bit bookended by time or other commitments, so it's nice to just be here and I don't know, but whatever I end up doing tonight, I have the entire evening ahead of me. I would like to do something involving food because I am hungry, but I will do whatever. So presuming that I still can, I'm going to go up to the train station to go and start this. So it looks like I could not go up to the train station. The train just left, so that must have been the very final departure of the day. So back at plan, I'm going over here. So I'm way back over here, uh, like at the very back of um, Town Square Theater. This is where the exit is for Mickey and Minnie. So this is what was in the box. Uh, these character pieces here, and then the actual game board itself, and then this. And this is how I'm going to be determining my day at Magic Kingdom with these specific cards that I'm going to be relabeling. All right, so it took a minute to cut everything out. I have my labels here with my markers. This is the deck here that I'll be using to actually play the game. And then these are the five specialty suites throughout the game of Candyland. And I'm going to be putting my labels on those cards I think I'll choose this this little red guy. So I wrote ride nearest attraction, eat at nearest quick service, ride the ride with a Genie Plus recommendation, eat a sweet snack because I'm playing Candyland, and then watch the nearest show. And how I plan to do this randomly is I'm going to flip all of these over so I don't know which one is going on which card, then I'll shuffle these into the deck, and then that's how I'm going to play this at least right now. This is sort of a cool perspective of the train going by. Hello! How oh, cool. So this might be a little bit more complicated than I thought with so how to play the game, I need to make sure that I like know that I'm doing this right. The idea is that I do want to do all of these. So I'm not going to look at the viewfinder for this, but I put all of the labels on the cards. This is going to be random, but it might not work exactly how I anticipated it because I'm still going to have to play the game, but I might bypass some of these. So what I think I'm going to do is take a bunch of cards out of the deck. I'll make the deck half as large that I absolutely have to do these. So I ended up taking all of the double move cards out of the deck. So these are just the single move cards. So I think that'll work out for me. And then also this works, so the sweet treat, it says move ahead or back to the space matching the picture. So I should be able to do all of these, maybe. Unless I don't, and then I might just start the game over again. So the deck is shuffled into my pockets, and I took the plastic piece off of this, so it'll be easier to put into my pocket too. That's where I was back there, so the deck will stay in the same order as well as the game piece. I'll just be putting it into my pocket. So I'm heading down Main Street to go and start this, so I'm a little bit closer to the lands in case I get one of the rides. If I got through this a little bit more, I could have tried to coordinate the movement of my game piece with my movement through Magic Kingdom, but I don't know how I would translate that. I'm trying to think about it now, and I'm wondering if I could try to coordinate a different color with a particular land, but I, I, I don't know how I would do that. That would be too much walking around. Generally, whenever I do these challenges, whatever I do prior is sort of the catalyst to what I end up doing next. So why don't I come over here somewhere like at the hub area to go and start this? Maybe I'll go towards the castle. It was a little bit of a struggle to make it through the crowds, but I have made it over to the castle. I'm gonna go ahead and start this. Okay, there's the deck. I just pulled it out of my pocket, and here's my little red man who's going on the Candy King. Maybe. Okay. Let's just start this and see what happens. So green all the way up to green. Keep knocking myself over. Purple. Need to move this off to the side. Orange. I'm in the peppermint forest. Blue. Oh, there we go. Uh, ride with Genie Plus recommendation. So I had to peel this one back to see which one it is, but it's this little uh, chocolate right there. So what I think I decided, what I think might make this more interesting is I'm definitely going to beat this game multiple times probably, right? But if I set like a particular amount of times that I beat the game, like if I beat the game five times, I get a reward. If I don't beat the game five times, then I should get a punishment, maybe? So that's how I should try to maybe play this. But but right now, I'm riding the ride um, with the Genie Plus recommendation for right now. It is about 7.30. No, it's not. It's 8 o'clock. So it's asking me about which experiences I would most like to do. I think I'm going to skip this for now and just see what it just randomly generates for me. All right, so I did not anticipate this. It is recommending that I go ride Jungle Cruise. That is, uh, that is random. So I can pretty much tell you with absolute certainty that I would not have ridden Jungle Cruise. So I'm heading across the bridge and over to Adventureland, I guess to ride Jungle Cruise at dusk. I don't know what the wait time is. So it updated my suggested itinerary. Now it says Mad Tea Party and then Jungle Cruise and then Pirates of the Caribbean and then Haunted Mansion. I think I'm just 
Still going to stick with my original suggestion though. I just gotta go with the original suggestion because what if I made it over to Mad Tea Party and then it suggested somewhere else? I just gotta, I just gotta stay consistent. So heading into Frontierland, I could go this way through this breezeway, but I wanna go through here because the Frontierland Shootin' Arcade is back here and it's closing like tomorrow, I think. The day that I'm here closes tomorrow. So just in case I could not come over here anymore, I wanted to make sure that I took in all the details. This is the breezeway entrance into Adventureland. You could play checkers over here. This used to be a portal for the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom game, which also has been removed. But just the particulars of the different props here, the wagon wheel, the, uh, the, the horseshoes for the nails and the hammer, the bit, the brittle, here the rope, here the lanterns, this skull, which is somewhat intimidating. This, uh, this canteen here, I'm pretty sure. And then all of these posters here that are presumably not going to be here anymore. I think that the shooting arcade, it needed to go. I think just to be consistent with the rest of the park, but to just replace this, this guest experience and then put it sort of behind a premium paywall, that is something that I just, I personally have an issue with it. Um, okay, I'm not going to do this now. I'll come back a little bit later because I want to commit to my challenge right now. But there's the Frontierland Shooting Arcade with all of those antlers on the roof, which I don't know if I've ever noticed that before. And then all these crates up here. I just hope it looks cool. Maybe they'll keep this facade, probably. I don't know, right? So where I'm going over to Adventureland is over here. There's another walkway over by Country Bears and Aloha Isle. Um, that'll be able to take. There was also an announcement for uh, Country Bear Musical Jamboree. They released an opening date for the Country Bear Musical Jamboree, which is going to be July 17th, which is interestingly Disneyland's birthday. So in less than a month now, this will open. They've already released some of the songs they're going to be doing. So it is going to be Disney songs sung by the Country Bears. So we'll see how that ends up being received. But yeah, I'm going over to Jungle Cruise to actually start this challenge. It'll be cool to ride Jungle Cruise at dusk, maybe. By the time that I get on, it might be dark, though. When I used to work at Jungle Cruise, used to be able to go up and down these stairs. And now you haven't been able to, at least whenever I have paid attention to it. I will also never forget waiting all the way over here for Tiana's Bayou Adventure by Pirates of the Caribbean. That'll be a memory. All right, Jungle Cruise is posting a 45 minute wait right now. Hopefully it's less than a 45 minute wait. That would be ideal to be able to ride this at dusk would be fun. I have not ridden Jungle Cruise in a long time. It might actually end up being 45 minutes though because it's a bit of a lengthy line. I do think that I miss the original Albert Paul's juice spiel because they did change the cue music a little bit. All right, I've almost made it down to the very end of the standby queue, at least over on this side. This is where you unload from the boats. And it's a little deceptive because that's where you load into the boats, but I had to go to that back room all the way down there. So I made it down into the back room here, which goes down and back a couple times. So I'll definitely be riding this at night. All right, I'm getting very close. There's a boat going by right now. I should be off with this in the next half hour or so. Now the moment that I think only one of you have been waiting for. The wonderful, the fantastic, but some might even say the magical. I just made it off of the Jungle Cruise, which this would have been great to do right now because there is barely a line. I think everybody's watching the fireworks. So I talked to Brennan and we decided how I'm going to actually, she gave me some ideas about what I'm going to do with this challenge. So I'm going to try to complete this game three times. And if I can do that, then I'll get myself candy from the Emporium, whatever candy I want from the Emporium. And if I am not able to complete this game three times before doing every single one of my activities, then I will get myself just the grossest, uh, combination of, of sweets and popcorn at like the at the popcorn uh, making area in the Emporium. I will just get the grossest whatever. So I'm sitting at a table over here in the bazaar. The magic carpets are right here. Jungle Cruise is back over there and I have my game board out and I put my little guy back where he was. So yeah, I'm going to try to beat this game three times so that I can get myself some candy and if I cannot, then yeah, I'll have to get a disgusting uh, popcorn snack. So this is the next one. Okay. Alrighty. So far, so good. The fireworks are about to start here like any minute. So I'm gonna try to get a head start on those. Oh, okay. So I'm going, am I going forward or backward? I'm going backward. Where am I going back to? Oh, right here, okay. So I'm going back. And now I'm riding the nearest attraction, which is going to be, of course, the Magic Carpets of Aladdin. 
It does not look like many people are riding this right now, but I haven't done this in a very long time. The camel is spitting, the fireworks are about to start, and I'm hungry. This is allegedly a 20 minute wait? Really? Sort of doubt that. The line for this earlier was very lengthy though, compared to now. Woo! Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado con el cinturón de seguridad ajustado y mantenga sus manos, brazos, Yay. I'm watching the fireworks as I'm riding Aladdin's magical carpets. Aladdin! Shut up! Oh my god! I just got sprayed! Woo! Hooray! Fireworks! I have never watched the fireworks from this. This is pretty cool. Just what I can see from here, even though there's nobody in front of me at all. So you can see Tiana's Country Bears is over there. You could see Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, but there's uh, the Enchanted Tiki Room, Jungle Cruise down there, the Swift Family Robinson Treehouse. This is cool. I'm getting a little bit dizzy. Okay, so I'm heading down for a landing. Now, that was cool. I tried to, I was considering waiting a little bit so that I could time it, but it ended up being timed perfectly fine. So and I need to continue my game and hopefully do something that involves eating because I am hungry. All right, so I'm going over to this table and continuing this. I am I'm very hungry right now. So moving back a little bit. So I haven't even completed the game once, but I'm hoping to maybe get close. I'm gonna reshuffle the uh, color cards. Whoops, back into this. Ooh, all right, I'm doing pretty good. Oh no, what is this? Watch the closest show. The closest show is definitely, without a doubt, the Enchanted Tiki Room over here. I have spent this entire challenge in Adventureland. That was not the intention at all, but maybe I could make it into the next show. The previous show just let out, so will I make it into this next one? Maybe, hopefully. And now turn to your left towards the tall door. When it drums begin, they'll open magically to lead you right into the Sunshine Pavilion. Is everybody ready? It feels so weird to be doing the Enchanted Tiki Room while the fireworks are going on. Oh, when is this scenario? My siestas are getting shorter and shorter. Oh, look at all the people. And welcome to Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. All the birds and birds and the flowers groom. Okay, so I'm heading out of the Enchanted Tiki Room. Now I watch the show. Oh boy. So I didn't show this, but I had to actually see where I was supposed to go back to. So the one that I got to do the Enchanted Tiki Room was this gumdrop here. So I had to go all the way back to the beginning. So, because I am making my own rules right now, if I can just beat this game once now at this point, if I can beat it once, then I can roll myself with some candy. But if I can't, then I will get a gross snack in the Emporium. So, so that's that's what I'm doing. I'm bartering now because I went all the way back to the beginning. I went from five to three now to just one attempt at beating this game. So let's see if I can do that. Okay, orange. This is probably gonna fall over multiple times. Yellow. Oh my god. Blue. This doesn't look good. Green. <laughs> Green again, okay, all the way up here. So I'm doing pretty good now, actually. Uh, this was the next one. Oh crud. So I was right here, and now I have to go all the way back to the peppermint. So I do not think that I'm going to be beating this game at all. And the nearest quick service should be Pecos Bill, if it's even open. Right now it's it's almost 10 o'clock. So I'm heading to Pecos Bill, I put in my mobile order. Back over here is Aloha Isle. I have a feeling that'll be back over here later. So I wasn't anticipating watching the fireworks tonight. I thought I would just be sort of dedicating the time to this challenge, but I did not think that I would be spending that fireworks time watching the Tiki Room. Nothing particularly wrong with the Tiki Room, just of all attractions to ride while the fireworks are happening, the Magic Carpets of Aladdin and the Enchanted Tiki Room. Much like a lot of other people, my favorite part of Pecos Bill were the toppings bars where back in the day you could get your nacho bowls or nachos or tacos or burritos and you could just come over here and load up on toppings and it was a pretty nice hack to take advantage of which is probably why it's not a thing anymore. Okay, so I have my dinner here and I'm going to try to find a place to eat it. So I found a seat over here by the window. Tiana's by Adventure is right there and Thunder Mountain's over there. Um, so I got the chicken rice bowl which is cilantro rice topped with seasoned chicken, uh, grilled peppers and onions, pinto beans, lettuce, tomato, sour cream, and salsa. And then I got some 
extra cheese here, pretty much extra sour cream, and then a big thing of salsa. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump this on here and just get to eating my, my chicken rice bowl. Oh, and then I also brought a root beer from home. So Pico Spill is closed for the evening and I got on my game board one final time, even though I only had a couple cards left, so there's no possible way I could have made it to Candy Castle. So my final activity is right here, and that is going to be just to get a sweet treat. So I'm going to go get a Dole Whip. I did not win Candyland. I didn't even beat the game once. I sat back over here in the corner, and it's really neat to see this place with pretty much nobody in it at the moment. Who knows how much longer this restaurant will be here, if it's going to be turned into a different sort of a restaurant with a different theme. It's going to pretty much look the same, but then also be very different. So I'm heading to a little aisle to get a Dole Whip, and then I'll head back over to, I guess, the Shootin' Arcade. There's no confirmation about this actually ending up being something else, but I don't know. We will see, definitely. Also, Tiana's by Adventure opens in less than a week. It's been having such a struggle just staying open for the various previews, but hopefully it opens and, and, and doesn't have as many more issues. I don't know. So it actually looks pretty busy over here at Aloha Isle, but I think this is the appropriate place to conclude my challenge with. It's a good snack, but I failed my challenge. And there it is, the pineapple vanilla soft serve swirl in a cup that I decided to go ahead and get to conclude my evening. I didn't get the float. Okay, so now I'm back in Frontierland, I guess, from Adventureland, and I'm heading down to the shooting arcade one more time before the walls are or they boarded up and it's behind walls. It's a little bit quiet right now. I have a brain freeze, ouch. But I doubt it was ever this popular at 11 o'clock at night ever before. It is pretty cool that this has been free play for the past few years, where it used to cost money for 35 shots, but now you can just walk up and grab one of the rifles here and just start shooting. to get my, my, I guess, my punishments, but that was it. The Frontierland Shootin' Arcade is going to be closed forever, starting tomorrow, after tomorrow, I think. So even though I failed the additional arbitrary rules that I sort of set up for myself for this challenge, I still think it was a success. I still had fun, even though it sort of sequestered me to, uh, specifically Adventureland and a little bit of Frontierland. It was still cool. Like I didn't do what I was expecting to do with this, but I still got to do a lot of different stuff. I feel like specifically so much of my time is spent over in Tomorrowland or Fantasyland, so it was nice to do something different. I was definitely expecting less intense of a crowd though, exiting the park, so this might not be the best. But I'm heading to the Emporium. So, not the Emporium, to the Confectionery. So maybe this will dilute a little bit by the time that I'm actually going to like the monorail or the ferry boat. So we need to try to decide what is objectively like the worst stuff to add to the popcorn even though what I got and brought to Fantasmic I thought was sort of gross. I don't know. It's not gonna be really bad. It's gonna be the worst stuff to add to the popcorn, which hopefully I'll still be able to do because the Emporium the Confectionery closes at midnight, so I hope I can still do this. See, if I'd won, I probably would have absolutely loaded up a bag with candy over here. But instead, 
I'm heading back over here to Candy Popcorn. More realistic way, probably would have gotten something over here. But the line for the popcorn, oh my god, I've never seen it this long. So these are the popcorn options. They have rainbow popcorn, caramel popcorn, cheddar popcorn, and then regular butter popcorn. So I'm doing the cheddar popcorn with vanilla wafers and pretzels. And then also freeze-dried Skittles with milk chocolate. Which is good. And this is a... Uh, not the most appetizing, definitely, and very, a very weird combination, but that is my punishment. Maybe it'll be good, I don't know. So the register back there is not working, so I'm getting in line over here to get this. This really looks not appetizing to me. Pretty much anything from there I probably would not have cared for too much, because when I got it last time I just did not like this. It got just very soggy very quickly. But that was when it was in a bag, so I don't know about this. I know that I'm being dramatic about this because I'm sure that it's actually fine, but just this combination in particular, candies, just not even candies, pretzels and Nilla wafers and then freeze-dried Skittles with cheddar popcorn and then a milk chocolate drizzle. I don't know about that. But you know what? If this is the failure for still having a good night at Magic Kingdom, getting to ride rides and have a delicious dinner and like a fun little snack, I don't know. It's not that bad, right? But also it is almost midnight, so I need to go home. It is it is very late. I'm going to just eat this tomorrow, I think. Just imagine me maybe not enjoying it that much. Or, plot twist, maybe I will actually love it. Thankfully the line for the monorail was pretty non-existent. I was a little bit worried about that, just exiting the park or walking through um, the Emporium or walking down Main Street USA. But just waiting for the monorail would take a while, but nope, this one was very quick. All right, finally made it back to Magic Kingdom monorail station. It is after midnight now and I'm so tired. I cannot believe how late I was at Magic Kingdom today. All right, heading all the way to my car at the very back of the villain's lot. Welcome aboard everyone. Welcome to your last ride of the night, the tram. Here we are, you turning. There's the uh, pretty much the toll entrance of Magic Kingdom and there's my car. Yay. So that was my night at Magic Kingdom determined by Candyland. And even though I ended up failing with my objective, which was to try to beat the game before I ended up needing to do all of the activities that I planned for myself. I still had a good time. I got to ride a couple rides. I got to see a show. I got to have dinner and I got to have a little dessert. And then even though this is not my favorite snack, I don't know, I might like it. Brennan might like it. So it was still a fun day at Magic Kingdom. It was, was supposed to rain or I thought it was going to rain and it didn't rain. So that's a victory. I got to see the fireworks while riding a ride. That was cool. I don't know, it was like a different combination of well, and that's why that I do these challenges. It just gives me a different and a variety of an experience whenever I, I, I try to have some sort of a toy determine my day at a theme park where it's not stuff that I would normally do and I end up doing it and I have a really good time. I'm kind of delusional now because it's going to be, uh, it's about 12.30 right now. It's going to be about one o'clock by the time that I get home or maybe later. And I keep just, I don't know. Um, have a good night. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon. I got to do the Frontierland Shooting Arcade one final time, which... Again, it is time for that to go, but I, I'm not a fan of what it's being replaced with, but whatever. Have a good night. I will see you soon. Have a great day and goodbye.